Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a will I buy it video which is long overdue. I haven't done one this month yet and there has been a lot coming out and a lot that has been announced and I can't wait to show you guys everything, tell you all of the products that I'm personally very excited about and also I cannot wait to get your feedback to know what products you guys are excited about and want me to get and review. So if you guys like Will I Buy It videos like this one, don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave if you're new to my channel. My name is Patty. I would love to have you over so please subscribe before you leave and with that said, let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start with Trend Mood. I'm going to list all of the products down in the description box and whichever products are already available I will have a link to them and then of course the products that have not come out yet won't have a link. So definitely check out my description box if you're interested in any of the products that are available already. Okay so let's go ahead and start with the God is a Woman fragrance by Ariana Grande. This is going to be available at Ulta online on July 29th and I am very excited for this perfume because I feel like Ariana Grande is one of those celebrities that release perfumes and I actually like the fragrances she releases. So needless to say, of course, I have not smelled this one or anything. The um, container does look very nice and I am intrigued. I cannot wait for her to release it. I can't wait to smell it and I'm hoping that I will really like it, just like I've liked some of her other fragrances. Here, this one right here already came out. These are the Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury in Walk of No Shame and Pillow Talk. I didn't go for these immediately when they came out. I don't know what came over me. I was not on it and I kind of regret not making a video on them. I feel like I probably would like them but at the end of the day I usually don't reach that much for single cream shadows. Do I? I actually have been using my Glow by Auric ones so maybe I would use these. See this is kind of like what I was thinking of when I decided not to buy them and now I regret it. But anyways I did not purchase those. Let me know if you guys did and if you're liking them and loving them and using them constantly. Um, the next thing on here is something that just launched a few days ago, four days ago I believe and that is the Kylie Cosmetics relaunch. She came out with lipsticks and lip liners and highlighters. Everything is now clean and vegan. We definitely don't need junk in our beauty products so I am personally all about that. I've never bought Kylie Cosmetics before and so I didn't know how excited you guys were for these and if I should should or not so let me know in the comment section below so far I have not purchased anything from this collection even though I love the packaging and I definitely love that the products are now cleaner so let me know what you guys think of that and whether or not we should try them these Juvia's Place quads, I already bought these quads and I did a look with each one. I uploaded the video a couple of days ago. So definitely check out the video if you're interested in my thoughts on these quads and to see the looks that I created and whatnot. Um, these retail for $10 each, so Juvia's Place is nice and affordable, no complaints in that department. Then I definitely wanted to ask you guys about these um, blush duos from Tom Ford. Um, I don't think these have come out yet. I think they're probably coming out very very soon because it is almost the end of July now and I don't know should I try these? I know that Tom Ford has nice blush formulas. If you guys are excited about them and you want a review let me know down below because I am not sure. This Anastasia lounge right here I did already try for you and I uploaded a video. Definitely check that video out because out of the three products Anastasia came out with I liked two and I hated one of them so check out the video if you guys haven't seen it yet. Here is something new that has not come out yet and I do plan on buying for sure and that is the new eyeshadow quads by Charlotte Tilbury. It looks like she's coming out with two new ones. They have this beautiful limited edition packaging. I'm sure they'll retail for like $54. That's usually the price of these. I cannot wait for these to come out and to play with them. I love that she incorporated that new um, flawless 
filter formula into one of the shades in this palette. I feel like I like the ones that she had all four of them in the new formula, but I didn't love them. And having a shimmer, a Hollywood Flawless Filter formula, a glittery shade and a matte shade in a quad is going to be a very good combination for some really nice, fun looks. Plus, Charlotte Tilbury has been coming out with some amazing matte formulas that you can sheer out and build up and just kind of play around with. So very excited for this launch. Let me know if you guys are too. The packaging looks stunning, right? Okay, so this Hermes highlighter here, I'm personally going to skip on it. I don't think it's come out yet. It's only one shade. It's probably going to be $75. I just, I'm not interested in dropping that kind of coin right now on one single highlighter. The next thing on here is these Bite Lipsticks that launched on the 12th. And I have loved Bite Lipsticks forever. Every time they reformulate, they get better. They have really amazing pigment, really amazing formulas, and they are all clean, vegan, cruelty-free etc. I think that they're now organic and that all of the ingredients in their lipsticks are edible. That was the thing with them. They're like that natural. Anyways, these colors look absolutely perfect and I have not bought any of them yet, but you know what? I think after I film this video, I'm going to write down everything that I'm interested in and I'm going to place an order and just film like a big haul with a bunch of new products that have come out for you guys because there is a lot of like little things that have launched that I think are worth putting together in a video and I think that these Bite lipsticks at least a couple of these shades are going to be one of them. Colourpop came out with glossy lip stains. They launched on July 8th and they retail for $8. I personally didn't buy any of these, but they do look really nice. So if any of you guys tried them and liked them, let me know down in the comments section. Jacqueline Cosmetics launched her summer collection and I had it in my calendar. I was going to purchase one of each and make a video on it but this happened last week and honestly my mind was not like i don't even know how i made three videos last week one of them was the cuba video but even the other two i'm not even sure how i made it through those because my mind was not in it last week so i ended up not realizing that um these products have launched and by the time i remembered i was like I'm already like a little bit late and I feel like with Jaclyn Cosmetics I have to wait to get the products and it usually takes a little bit over a week. So by the time I get the products it's sort of the same as with Colourpop, it's like old news, you know? So I ended up skipping on Jaclyn's collection, I haven't even seen a review on it so if you guys bought it and liked it, let me know, let me know if you have a favorite product that I need to get and I will do that. Huda Beauty launched new highlighters, a new perfume. This new perfume that they launched, I read the notes and it seems right up my alley. Utopia Vanilla and Cocoa Fragrance. It just sounds like a summery scent. And then besides that perfume, the other thing I was interested in is the cream highlighter. That one also seemed very nice. Sonia G came out with a brush collection with Beautylish. It looks absolutely stunning. I am sure that I would love them. I um, reminded you guys when they launched on my community story in case anybody was waiting for them, was interested. I ended up skipping them myself because I just spent like $250 on the Wayne brushes last month and I just could not allow myself to spend another $250 on brushes this month so I ended up skipping them but they look dreamy. If I hadn't bought the Wayne brushes I would have totally gone for these. Okay, so this next one right here I wanted to mention because I have one of the products right here. The new Kopari Coconut Spritz Mist. I didn't have to purchase this one because they did send it over my way. And I wanted to let you guys know that this smells like a tropical vacation. It gives your skin really nice moisture. I've had it in my bathroom for the past couple of days since I've had it. And whenever I come out of my shower, after I moisturize, I like spritz myself with it a little bit. And it just smells very relaxing. So if you're into refreshing, really good smelling, but also very soft um, body mist, definitely 
um, give this one a try. Colourpop and Powerful Girls have a new collaboration out. It looks nice, but this is not the type of makeup that attracts me personally. So I definitely skipped on this one. I feel like I already have most of these colors in my collection, and then the ones that I might not have exact dupes for are the green and the blue, which I don't see myself using that often anyways. So I skipped on these. Melt Sex Foils by Mel Cosmetics are like a body shimmer. I didn't go for this one. It, they look extremely shimmery like those Huda Beauty ones that make you look like a robot because they're so shiny. <laughs> um, so not interested in those, but if you try them and you love them, definitely let me know. Okay, this one right here, I already have. I'm actually wearing it on my eyebrows today and it is the um, Major Brow Lamination Gel from Patrick Ta Beauty. Let me give you guys like a little quick review on it. Like I said, I'm wearing it on my eyebrows. If I'm going to choose my favorite brow lamination lifting product, I definitely still love the Brow Freeze from Anastasia the best, however. What's cool about this new one from Patrick Ta is that you don't need a separate spoolie to like go and apply it. You could just have the wand that it comes in and like fluff it. So like it's very travel friendly. You have to be very careful with the gel getting dry and flaky. So try not to go over where your brows are because you will see a little bit of peeling. But it's not the end of the world. You can just kind of like lift it away. I definitely recommend not doing more than one coat her brow. Other than that, super long lasting. It makes my eyebrows really nice and fluffy. I feel like I get a really nice feathered effect with it and it is extremely, extremely, extremely easy to use. And that is my feedback and I have the thickest, most unbehaved brows ever. <laughs> so if you have thinner bra hairs, softer bra hairs, and you just want a little something that will help fluff them up a little bit, I think it's definitely the product that you need. They also were kind enough to offer me a discount code for you guys, so if you use um, the code Patty C. Alonso 15 on the Patrick Ta website, you can get 15% off of your whole order. So it doesn't have to be this product, anything you want to order from patrickta.com, you can get 15% off with that code. It's my Instagram name and the number 15. Something else I already tried was the new Macro Blade Liquid Liner by Natasha Denona. I was super excited that they sent that one to me and asked me to like help them announce it. I was like, me, little old me, thank you. Um, anyways, you guys know I'm not like a huge eyeliner person because my eyes are hooded and they're uneven. It, it is mostly a pain in my behind to even do eyeliner. However, this one is extremely easy to use, extremely pigmented. Um, it stays in place. The only tip I have to give you, especially if you have hooded eyes like me, is to not open your eyes before it fully dries down because it will transfer while it's wet. It doesn't dry right away. However, you can put it over shimmers and glitters and it covers everything very nicely. I have been doing a little bit more eyeliner since I've had it because I've had so much fun playing with it. I do totally think that it is worth it and it is the blackest, most pigmented eyeliner. It's really nice. Anyways, this is not a product reviews video, but I do have both of those and I like them, so I had to let you guys know. Laura Mercier launched a new translucent loose setting powder in Light Catcher. <gasps> I just realized I should have moved so that you guys can see the picture. I'll do it now. Sorry about that. Anyways, Laura Mercier came out with a new translucent setting powder and this one is not a fully matte powder, but it probably also isn't as shimmery as the other one she has. It's just called Light Catcher and it looks like a sort of a satin finish in a setting powder. It looks like these are already available at Ulta. I'm not sure if I wanna try these. They do look very intriguing. So let me know if you wanna review down in the comment section and I will. I might still pick them up anyways. I don't know, I am intrigued by the concept of a setting powder that is not fully matte, that kind of catches the light, but it's also not shimmery. It intrigues me for sure. Hula has the Contourist Bronze and Contour Palette. It basically has all four shades of their 
Hula bronzer. I'm not really interested in that. I'm hoping Benefit comes out with like new innovative products rather than continuing to do the same thing over and over. Oh my god, is this holiday already? Here is a sneak peek of what's coming from MAC for the holiday season. These don't have a lunch date yet and they just look like really nice shimmery shades. I usually don't reach for my single shadows so that's probably going to be one that I skip altogether. This one I really want to try. Tatcha is coming out on August 1st with the Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. I am dry, my skin needs repairing, I usually get red very easily. I know that Indigo is a calming ingredient. I'm very intrigued about this product. I love Tatcha skincare. It says it is to calm irritation. My skin does get very easily irritated. That is exactly why this is right up my alley. Strengthens skin barrier, balance microbiome, maximizes the skin nightly renewal process for a soothing evening ritual that restores compromised skin while you rest. This, I'm telling you, either when it comes out or as soon as I finish my current nighttime moisturizer, I am going to try because this is a product that I'm excited about. We also have a new Wayne Goss Cosmetics palette. It looks beautiful. I'm sure it will be beautiful. Let me know if you guys want me to review it and I will pick it up and review it. Looking at it though, I feel like these are shades that I probably already have in my collection, but I've never tried the Wayne Goss formula, so if that's something that you guys want me to do and you want me to review this palette, definitely let me know down in the comments and I will pick it up and um, tell you guys what I think of it. Colourpop came out with Ice Cream Bites collection. It is a few different quads. They look nice and colorful. I'm not thinking that I'm going to pick up any of these, but the triple scoop looks beautiful and the extra toppings also looks beautiful and the rainbow sparkles also looks beautiful. Honestly, most of them look really beautiful. Okay, this one actually came out today, the day that I'm filming this video, so let me know if you want me to order these and review them and I will do so because these look really pretty. M Cosmetics came out with the So Soft Multi Face Play Bronzer and Blush Sticks. These look very interesting. I personally have never bought anything from M Cosmetics, but every time I hear about M Cosmetics, um, people are raving about the products. So you guys let me know if you want me to try that. ELF has new brow products and lip balms. They look really nice, but I usually don't use powders on my eyebrows, so I'm going to um, be skipping on these. The lip balms look nice, but I don't need any new lip balms at the moment. Desi is coming out with the Do Me Over Prep Set and Refresh Face Mist. Um, it comes out on July the 27th at 9 a.m., so that is very soon. And the first thing I see in the description is that it says that it's rich in vitamin C. This would be an absolutely great thing for everybody, except for me. My skin, remember when I was telling you guys my skin is very sensitive and reactive? One of the ingredients, if not the main ingredient, that my skin reacts to is vitamin C. So when products have a lot of vitamin C in it or vitamin C that is not stable enough or whatever, I cannot use them. I have literally burnt my face before with a vitamin C serum and I am scarred for life. So if it wasn't for the fact that she has come out with two skincare products and both of them have vitamin C in it, I would have totally tried Desi um, skincare already. But I have to wait for a non-vitamin C product before I do that. <laughs> this Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipstick from KVD Beauty. These look absolutely stunning. Look at the shades right here, swashed. For now, I think I'm going to skip on these, but maybe once there is a sale or something, I might pick them up. Done. I'm done with Trend Mood. One of the most exciting products that I wanted to talk about was not on Trend Mood. It is on the Chick Profile official Instagram account. Okay, so there is this Tom Ford quad right here. Um, she says it's launching later this year. This is an extremely non-inclusive quad. The shades are so, so light. 
Um, they honestly look very lackluster and I have very little interest in this Tom Ford quad. But if you guys are Tom Ford quad fanatics, that will be coming soon. Here's the Orful 2021. The um, Quint eyeshadow palette looks beautiful. The nail polish also looks beautiful. There's actually two Quints and they both look stunning. So this might be something that I have to pick up once it comes out. Definitely let me know if you guys are interested. And now the product that I was most excited to talk to you guys about is this um, Charlotte Tilbury palette right over here. It looks like the name of it is the Instant Eye Palette. Smoky Eyes Are Forever and it's launching fall of this year. I love that we are already seeing sneak peeks of fall launches. I, I get so excited during the fall time with all of the new makeup that comes out. I do love Charlotte's larger eyeshadow palettes because they give me a lot more options to play with. This palette looks absolutely stunning. I love the golds and the hints of pink. I'm excited for this one. Definitely will be picking it up whenever it comes out in the fall and we'll be reviewing it for you guys. Let me know if you guys are excited for it as well. Here are two other Tom Ford quads that are coming out. Let me know if you guys want me to try Tom Ford eyeshadows. For some reason, I am never super excited to get my hands on these, so I often end up skipping them. But if you guys want me to try some more of anything, all you have to do is just let me know in the comment section. I know that a lot of you guys say just put more drugstore in your videos, but give me specifics because sometimes I just, I'm not super excited about what I see at the drugstore. Whenever I'm excited about something drugstore, I buy it, I review it, I talk about it like I did with the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector, for instance. But if it's not on my radar, I end up not purchasing the products. I don't get PR from any drugstore brands or anything, so it's hard for me to keep up with everything. I usually try and review things that are on my radar that I get excited about, but I can be persuaded to try other things, you know? I think that's it. That is everything I saw that was coming soon. I'm super excited to see what you guys have to say. Definitely let me know down in the comment section what you guys want me to try and review for you and I will definitely do so. I love you guys so much. If you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If a product I talked about has already launched and you're interested in it, the link will of course be down below. I love you guys. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.